I wanna share with you the number one secret I learned from Tony Robbins to unlock ultimate success for me and how you can use it as well. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about one of my friends and mentors, Mr. Tony Robbins. I've been lucky enough to be friends with Tony now for about 15 years, been to all his events, but also had a chance one-on-one -on -one to have him actually do interventions with me and work through things with me in my life and my business. But there's one thing that of all the stuff I learned from Tony had the biggest impact. This one principle has helped me in my marriage, it's helped me with my kids, it helped me to be more successful in life and business, find more happiness, more fulfillment. So I'm gonna share with you, and it's a framework that Tony teaches called the six human needs. So the six human needs, when Tony first talked about that, it was interesting, the thing he said from stage, he said that everybody does something for a reason. He's like, the good news is there's only six reasons why they do something. I'm the why guy. I don't know why you do what you do. What is your motive for action? According to Tony, there are four needs of the body, or sometimes he calls it the personality, and there's two needs of the spirit. So the first need of the body is the need for certainty. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little picture of a guy here with a smile because we want to feel certain, right? We want to feel certain that every single morning we're gonna wake up. We want to feel certain that, you know, I'm gonna eat three meals today. I'm gonna feel certain I have a paycheck coming. So that's one of the needs that we have to get fulfilled. The second need is the need for variety. Variety means that we like to have a lot of different options, right? So option one, two, three, like, like having different things. And if you know something, certainty means I want to know exactly what's gonna happen and the order's gonna happen perfectly. And variety is the opposite of that, right? Like variety is I want craziness, I want something new, I want to wake up and be surprised. Like, and so the, one of the interesting things about these first two needs is that they are literally polar opposites. The third need is the need for significance. Um, significance means we want to stand up there and we want people to think that we're great, right? We want to like, look how good I am. Like, I'm useful, I'm, I'm helpful, like, I'm good at what I do. Like, we want to feel that significance. And that brings us now to the fourth human need, which is love and connection. Love and connection is all about having this experience with somebody else. Connection and love, fourth need. We all want it. Most people settle for connection because love's too scary. But here's what's true, we need it. We can do it through intimacy, through friendship, through prayer. Now it's interesting, if you look at significance, love and connection, those are also opposite, right? Significance is like, look how great I am. Whereas love and connection is about this other person, like I love them. Anytime that something happens in your life and it meets three of these four needs, it'll create an actual physical addiction inside of your body. Um, so for example, the very first time I met my wife, Colette, I met her and I saw her and I was like, she's beautiful, she's great. And I asked her on a date and she said, yes. Okay, what did that give me? She says yes to me, like that gives me significance. Like, I feel significant, she likes me, right? Then we go on this date, we're holding hands, we're hugging, and I'm like, love and connection, right? And like, because we're dating, we're having variety, it's so exciting, we're going to do dates, we're trying new experiences, and so I get significance, I love and connection, I get variety, and it creates this amazing addiction, and we fall in love. Then we're like, I want certainty, I wanna make sure this person's gonna be here forever. I went to my wife, I said, will you marry me? She said, yes, we got married. Now I had certainty that every single morning I was gonna wake up, she was gonna be there, she's never gonna leave me, we're married forever, like, now all my needs are met and it's amazing. And then what happens? First it's great, like it's perfect. The first year usually is like insane. And then what happens is we stop going on as many dates because we're like, it's convenient. Like we start losing variety. I'm not as significant to her, right? It's like, oh yeah, you're my husband, you're always there. We still have love and connection and certainty, but we lost variety, I lost significance. And now I only have two of my needs are met and all of a sudden that addiction breaks. And this is where marriages start falling apart. It happens when they're not getting their needs met. And because it's not getting met, they start looking for other ways to get these needs met. And what Tony said was so fascinating to me. He said that people will literally give up their values, their beliefs, and everything to make sure that the needs of their body are met. This is how affairs happen, where all of a sudden they go to work and they meet whoever, the new person in the office, that person like likes them, they get some significance, right? And that person starts flirting, they get love and connection, gets met. And all of a sudden, like uh, there's the variety of excitement, all of a sudden, boom, it creates an addiction with somebody else. Right, drugs, same thing, you take drugs. Uh, what happens, right? You get variety, you get certainty. Um, if you're with other people, you get significance, love and connection. Knowing that, I need to go into that saying, look, I wanna create addictions that are positive, addictions that lead me towards what I want. I wanna be addicted to my wife, I wanna be addicted to my work, I wanna be addicted to like, whatever it is you wanna pursue. If I'm gonna go into a new business, how do I have certainty in this business? How do I make sure I have variety in this business? How do I make sure that I get significance and love and connection? If I do that, now it creates an addiction, now it's gonna be easy to go, it's gonna be fun to go, you're gonna love it, you're gonna light up. Everyone will figure out a way to get their needs of their body met. But not everybody transitions up to the needs of the spirit. And you have to have the needs of your body met before you're actually able to move up to the higher tier. And the first need of the spirit is the need for growth. Like we all want to grow, personal development, personal growth. Like we want to, be, like we want to physically grow, mentally grow, spiritually grow. And then the second one is contribution. And the reason we grow, I believe, 
is so we have something to give a value. Because the sixth need is to contribute beyond ourselves. Growth is about me growing, contribution is about you growing, me giving this and sharing with other people. So it's kind of interesting to look at that. These are also kind of opposites. They fit together, but one's about you and one's about you serving other people. And so this is Tony's six human needs. And again, when he mapped that out the very first time, I started looking at things differently. First, it started with my wife and I. I said, man, I am not fulfilling her needs. We had certainty every single morning we woke up, but I wasn't giving her variety. I wasn't giving her significance. I wasn't giving her love and connection. No wonder we were struggling so much. I gotta figure out how can I fulfill her needs so she becomes addicted to me. As I started doing that, stop focusing on myself so much, she lit up, she was more excited, like our relationship got better because of that. And I started thinking about myself, right? How am I making sure these needs are met in positive ways that aren't me getting into drugs or alcohol or pornography or different problems, right? It's so easy to get those needs met through this, right? But I would recommend to do number one is to map this out for yourself and start figuring out like, how am I currently getting my needs met? How to get certainty in a way that's healthy. How to get variety in a way that's actually healthy. How to get significance, love and connection in a way that's healthy. And look at those and figure out what are the things that are actually driving you towards the goals that you want and what are the things that are holding you back. So my invitation to you is this. Explore your web, the web in here, so you can appreciate what's driving other people. It's the only way our world's gonna change. God bless you, thank you, I hope this will serve. Tony Robbins. So let me know and down in the comments down below which one of these needs you are gonna be focusing on first in your life. Uh, I'm curious to see which one of these we're all gonna tackle collectively as a community. And number two is if you want, um, I made a cool little doodle handout of the six human needs. There'll be a link in the description now where you can click on it and get a copy of the actual PDF of the six human needs. And if you want more information about Tony teaching the six human needs, we'll drop some links in the description down below as well. We can watch videos of Tony teaching this as well. Um, but again, this was the key principle that for me changed everything.